All righty. So now um, you can hover right over once you click that online store and you can hover and you can go right here and you can click on customize your theme. OK, so we're going to click right there. And you you see that. There's a whole bunch of things going on. Now, these styles right here, these are kind of default styles. We're going to go in and get rid of those. But for right now, we're going to um, start from the top and work our way down. Uh, as you can see right here, this right here is your head. It looks a little funny right here, but this is not the actual it's going to look like this, but it's just kind of truncated a little bit because, you know, you have this whole thing right here. So you're going to go right here and we're going to go to general. OK. Um, and a lot of this stuff, I'm going to go over this as uh, uh, briefly as possible. Uh, your page spacing, you just want to uh, leave this as it is um, your grid settings. Uh, you can go in and play with this, but I mean, everything is pretty much okay as is. Colors. Now, you can go right here and see that I have this whole blue and gray and black color theme, okay? And you can see like right here is blue and certain things are gray. And if you wanted to change anything, let's just say your title color. All right, let's just go in and this is our color. I'm going to copy that just so I'll have it, but we're going to change that to like, uh, I guess like that right there. So we save. You see how that changed? Okay. So pretty much it's the same thing, you know, because all of you guys are going to have different colorways and you're not going to necessarily want to stay with with this color. Also, your background is white. You might want to change that to another color. I suggest you keep a white background because it's clean. There's been studies show that people purchase more on a white background. Um, but that's it. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to add that color back. And there you have it. And that you can see when things happens, a lot of times they automatically change. OK, so that's your colors. All right. Header. Let's click right here. OK. Show top bar. All right. Let's get rid of that. Now that top bar is gone, but I like that there. OK, and you can go through and play around with this. But like I said, everything as is, is pretty, you know, is pretty much has been designed to work. OK, so let's go down here. Use custom logo. I have my own logo right here, okay? But if you wanted to add your custom logo, you would simply go right here to replace and you would go somewhere and add a logo. I don't have anything to add because I already um, have, let me see if I can find something, if I can find a logo. Okay, in here, I keep a lot of other t-shirt help desk logos. So I'm going to go right here. Logo, and I think I have. Uh, okay, I have this one right here that kind of looks like a pill. And so let's, 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 let's go with that one. And right here, we're going to click save. That's the large logo. And let's replace our custom logo.
Now, you see how that changed to be? See how that changed to look like that? All right. So that's that. Now, this is the deal, okay? I'm going to go back to our original uh, because I liked it. Okay, let's go right here. This is your fav icon or fav icon. And pretty much what that is, is if you go up here to these little, in some of these places, you, you, you're going to see these little, uh, as a matter of fact, you can see this one right here. That's the t-shirt help desk icon, okay? And you see it right there. All right, it's not here because we didn't f fully do everything yet, but right here at T-Shirt Help This Store, can you see that right there? That little icon, that's your fav icon or fav icon, okay? And pretty much that is it. We really don't use this right here for this theme, the top bar. All right, and the sticky menus, we're gonna get to that later, okay? So that pretty much is your header. Currency, currency right here is automatically USD. You want to keep it like that, unless, of course, you're in another country and you would put your currency right there. Footer. Footer, you can go in and kind of look and then you can put your address and all that good stuff right here. And if you go down to the bottom, you can see all that good stuff right here. And the thing about it is this, you're gonna have to go in and figure it out in a, in, in, in a way. Me, meaning, I mean, you can look right here and see, you got to read between the lines. Right here, New York, New York. You would take yours in and you would write wherever you are. Your telephone number, you go right here and you write your telephone number in between. You don't want to mess with any of this code right here. You just want to put everything in between. Okay, your email address, you put your email address. Okay, I mean, and it's as simple as that. And you use that same categories right here. You put your hours. Okay, you don't want to mess with any of these brackets and code but right here. Whatever your, your hours are, everything is right here. Holidays, Sundays, pretty much read between the lines. Whatever is between these brackets and you can read it Saturday, Sunday, you can go in and change it. Okay, like Saturday, Sunday, I could write Friday. Okay. And you see how that changed? All right. Really, really simple stuff. Our service, you can write whatever you want. Newsletter, you can write whatever you want and it will change right here on this side. Okay, hope that makes sense. When you're done, you press save and you get out of there. Click this back button. All right. Let's click on home page. All right. Everything that you see here is in your homepage. Section one, section two, these all correspond to this different sections of your homepage. And you can turn things on and turn things off just like that by clicking the enable button. All right, like for instance, let's go down here. And I believe that this is promotions countdown section four. So let's click off that. And you see that part went away. Let's click it. Oh no. And let's click it back on. And you see it pop back up. Let's say you didn't want this right here. 
you didn't want this part with your testimonials okay you would go right down here to where it says section 5 see all this testimonial stuff and you would click right here you're enable you would uncheck that and boom it goes away but I like that okay and you see that so let's get back over here all right and we're going to start to mess with our home page slideshow. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to get into this bad boy, the home page slideshow in the next video. I don't want these videos to run too long. So I'll see you in the next video.